what's your default energy? And how does your energy influence your team? Think about that for a moment, because our energy is something that we largely don't pay attention to, but it's one of the biggest tools in our toolkit for leadership and teamwork that we can use. Think about when you've sat in a boring meeting. Often we'll pe people will say, well, that was a boring meeting, wasn't it? And everyone will come out and say it was a boring meeting. As though the meeting is a sentient being that has created this environment of boredom. But actually the energy of everybody in the team or in that meeting has created that energy of boredom. So what would it be like for you to start paying attention to the energy of every meeting you're in, every relationship you're in, and your team, and check in with when do we need more enthusiasm and motivation? And when do we need to slow down and create space for reflection? Where do we need to create a sense of calm where there's perhaps conflict or uncertainty or chaos? And when do we, how do we change along that dynamic almost as a continuum? It's not on or off. It's how do we move the dial so that sometimes we ramp up the energy when it's needed to create more enthusiasm, more energy, more, more momentum. And how do we know when to ramp it down? Now, just because people are calm and quiet and not getting the job done doesn't mean, right, gung ho, let's ramp up the energy. Sometimes we need to create space for grief, for loss, for uh, people to recover from a really difficult period of time. And so it's about really paying attention to what energy is needed by the people in the team and by the employees in the organisation as much as what energy is required to create a result. So there's this really delicate balance that we're always needing to play between results and relationships and how do we bring the two together in harmony and what's the energy that we need to create that? That's where what I ask you to pay attention to, to today. What's the energy that you can bring repeatedly in different scenarios, in different contexts today so that you get optimal team performance? Thank you.